Out of all the things to go viral, did you expect sardines to be in that mix? Me neither. But now that I realize sardines are the most strategic food we have available, it really makes sense now why the sardine industry is booming and why by 2032 is expected to double. We're gonna get through the nutritional benefits of sardines, the cost effective benefits of sardines, and then also it is super time efficient. We're all trying to be a bit more efficient with our time. We're gonna even cover the questions people have around sardines, like what about mercury? Does it come with the sardine heads? Can I eat the bone? All those things we're gonna cover. Also, one of the things I realize is those sardine cans can be sharp. So I have some tips in opening them. I never really expected to make a video on sardines, but I think they're so great, it makes sense too. And that's really what this channel is about. That's what my videos are about, or like the things that may not get a lot of air time, but I'm just finding really interesting. And I just share in a succinct way as much as possible with you. So if you like this kind of stuff, then be sure to hit subscribe, all notifications that way. Next time I post a video, you'll be one of the first to know. So we're first gonna jump into the nutrition benefits of sardines and break down what that translates from a vanity perspective. Now, one of the reasons why so many people love sardines is that you get to pack so much nutrition, vitamins, minerals, proteins, fats, easy food to eat. So if I quickly rattle off the big vitamins, minerals, nutrition facts about sardines, it really comes down to that they're a really high protein source. Many of us are looking to increase our protein because it allows for satiation, better muscle building, all these benefits. I certainly am aiming for 100 grams of protein a day. This can of sardines here has 22 grams within a can, which is fantastic. And it's just easy to go down. It's really high in omega-3s, which is really great for glowing, beautiful skin, nails, hair. On TikTok, there's a lot of people who have just beautiful looking skin and they really credit sardines for that. So protein, omega-3s. I think it's Thomas Delar that talks about how it's the perfect ratio of fats and protein, especially for anybody on keto. Sardines are like probably one of the most nutrient dense fishes that you can eat. Like they are super, super high in omega-3s. Gram for gram or pound for pound, however you wanna look at it, they are the most omega-3 dense food that you can find. In addition to that, it has all sorts of vitamins and minerals, including phosphorus, zinc, selenium, which is another beauty. Vitamin, mineral, I don't know which one it is, but um, copper is within it, magnesium, iron, calcium, vitamin D, potassium, it's great. And so when it translates to how we look and feel, I'm gonna start with feeling because that's really why I fell in love with sardines and really that comes with a little personal story. I am in the club of somebody who has a weird relationship with food. I think most of us that fell into a diet at an early age, really any age, it messes up your relationship with food. And as far as I've come, as much work as I've done, there are still times where I just want to eat endlessly. With my experience with continuous glucose monitors, I know that's often because of a low blood sugar, which can sometimes be related to stress. I'll get stressed out, my blood sugar will drop, and then I have this over-consuming feeling that I just want to inhale food and just probably shove my feelings down there's, there's some of that going on for sure. And so when I have sardines, and this is really where I fell in love with it, I'd have sardines and it satiated me. Here are a few key reasons why sardines are so satiating and filling to eat. Again, the high protein. Protein is the most satiating macronutrient and helps you feel fuller for longer. Rich and healthy fats. Dietary fats take longer to digest, leading to prolonged feelings of satiety. Low calorie density. With only about 150 calories in a can serving, sardines provide a lot of nutrients for relatively few calories. Lower calorie density foods can be more satiating. Okay. High content of vitamins and minerals. Sardines provide high amounts of nutrients like B12, selenium, calcium, which play a role in appetite regulation mechanisms in the body. Because it contains bones, small soft edible bones and sardines add texture and require more chewing time me not much more chewing time, which promotes feelings of fullness from the mechanical act of eating. And then delays gastric emptying. Oils and sardines may slightly delay stomach emptying after a meal, leading to a prolonged sensation of fullness. For some reason, I think in the middle of the day, like lunch, that's the time where I want to consume everything because I'm stressed out with work. Implementing sardines has really helped that. I've even heard some people, if they're going out to dinner and they're super hungry, they'll have a can of sardines ahead of time. And that way it can really help aid in weight loss. Because sometimes some of us are overeating, but 
because maybe of low blood sugar, we're emotionally eating, you know, trying to shove those feelings down. That's one of the areas where I don't know that sardines have been promoted in that way, but for me, that is why I'm in love with them. Okay, so now let's go back to how it can be beneficial as far as beauty. So glowing skin, the omega-3 fatty acids in sardines reduce inflammation. The oils also hydrate skin from within, reduces acne, brighter eyes, faster wound healing, shiny hair. The omega-3s from sardines help keep hair follicles healthier longer, slower hair loss, better teeth. When it comes to the selenium within it, again, supports rating in skin, reducing acne, healthier hair, dandruff relief, improved pigmentation, delayed hair graying. B12 also supports hair, skin, and nails. So now you know about the nutrition, you know about the benefits. Let's continue on to talk about how time efficient it is. No question, time efficient, you just open up a key if you want to eat it right out of the can. But you can also cook it a little bit to make it taste better. I've tried that where, and I'm no cook. Thank goodness my husband is one hell of a cook. He even pushes me away from cooking even more because I'm like, he's so incredible at it. Why do I need to do it? But anyways, I just put it in a pan with some oil, salt, pepper, and then I had it in a bowl with some hot sauce. That was better than eating it out of the can, but I get so impatient sometimes and I just, I don't even want to do dishes. Eating it out of the can is fine for me, but there are all sorts of awesome recipes. Nonetheless, it's, very efficient when it comes to time. And then also it's extremely cost effective. So cost effective because there's these supplements I really don't need to take anymore. I really don't need to take the fish oil every day anymore. I really don't need to take my vitamin D anymore. I'm getting it from this. I've even stopped taking my super hair supplement from Moon Juice, which is my all time favorite hair supplement, but I see that there's potential I don't need it anymore. And that way it can save a lot of money because you're getting so much more of your nutrition from the sardines. I also probably don't need to have like a protein shake in the day, you know, depending on what I'm eating. So I am just getting so much more strategic about my food and what I'm taking in so that I'm getting nutrition from my food and not having to get it from supplementation. Protein is one of the most expensive types of food, nutrition. So this is really cost effective, especially when you compare it to other food groups. I'm gonna link my favorite sardines below. Should I ever change with sardines? I'll update that link too, so you know what I'm currently taking. But I, I kind of wanna try out the bougie, expensive sardines and see if there's a difference. But you can see, it's just for somebody who is on the go, you're short on time, you really wanna be strategic about what you're eating, sardines is where it's at. And it's great that there's all these benefits that come with it. It's also said to be better for the environment as there's an overpopulation of sardines. As far as the concerns with sardines, one of them being mercury. Sardines have, as far as like the fish you can get, one of the lowest rates of mercury. And it's a fraction of what you can get from tuna. I also love tuna midday because it's so easy. I probably need to do like a mercury <laughs> detox, honestly. So mercury is not of a concern with sardines because it is so low. One of my concerns with sardines is opening the tin because I have cut myself on tuna cans before. Oof. So what I do is I actually hold a cloth within my hand to kind of protect my hand as I peel the sardine tin back. And I'm just very careful. If you're concerned about the taste of it or concerned about heads in the sardine can, it does not come with the head. The bone is totally edible. From all the sardines I've had, the bones have not bothered me at all. And apparently there's even more calcium within that, which is great. You barely even notice it. There's a really hilarious YouTuber who focuses on tinned fish. He's hysterical. And he compares sardines to eating a banana, where bananas have those threads. What's in there is a spine. Try relating it to those stringy bits that are on a banana, you know? It's not what you came for, but you can peel it away and forget about it or just eat it, you know? It's up to you. Just don't overthink it. If you're worried about the taste of sardines, quite honestly, if you're somebody who's like against fish, I probably wouldn't do it. If you're someone who gets like easily bored of canned sardines, which I think anybody would, there's all sorts of recipes to spruce it up. There's a lot you can do, but to me, it's really about the convenience and saving the time. I don't feel the need to really spruce it up, but you certainly can. There's also all sorts of people who are doing these sardine challenges where they only have sardines for a period of days. It's recommended that you get used to having sardines more frequently before you do like a three day sardine fast, which seems to be pretty popular right now. All in all, I can completely understand why the sardine business is booming. And I'm so glad to have 
have adopted them because I love them so much. Not only are they full of health benefits, super convenient and super cost effective, but it's even helping me with my relationship with food. So hope that really helps. If you love sardines, please let us know why or any tips you have as it's super, super helpful. And if you have any other topics you think that I should explore, please let me know. Always appreciate your feedback. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.